Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Donnie Sheck Snyder with StartTeachingGuitar.com and this is just a quick video that will show you how to create your own guitar teaching website in 30 minutes or less. So what we're going to do today is I'm um, just going to run through the quick process of how to set up a website yourself. It doesn't have to cost thousands of dollars. It's something you can totally set up for yourself for actually less than a hundred bucks for an entire year using the uh, the tools that I'm going to show you in this quick video today. So uh, we're going to start off just here at the StartTeachingGuitar.com homepage and if you click on the Toolbox tab, as that comes up, you're going to see uh, a list of um, different things here that would benefit you in your guitar teaching business. And I have here some affiliate links um, and by clicking these and, and using them to sign up for these services, if if they meet your needs, uh, you can help support the website, help support the podcast, and help keep the high quality content coming. And I would owe you a debt of gratitude for that too. So uh, if you look here in the first column, it says website hosting. And um, I use Bluehost for all my website hosting. I highly recommend it. Um, Bluehost is super easy to use. It's affordable. Um, it breaks down to as low as like six ninety five per month for the web hosting. You get a free domain name with Bluehost, uh, which is cool. That saves you some money. And you also get a money back guarantee. So the cool thing about Bluehost is even though you you know you you pay one year or two years in advance or you know whatever your package is that you select, um, if, if at any time during that period you're not happy with the service, you can cancel it and they'll give you back the part of your sign up fee that you haven't used yet. So it's a prorated refund but you get a money back guarantee. And the really cool thing about it is they have a thing on there called Simple Scripts which is what I'm going to demo today that lets you do a one click and uh, you know a very very easy install of, uh, of the platform called WordPress which I'm going to show you how to use to build your website. And honestly, you'd be crazy to use almost to, to use anything else because WordPress is so easy to use and uh, flexible and it's free. So I'll get into that in the later part of the video. But first, let's uh, go down here. We're going to click on the Bluehost affiliate link here. And that's going to bring up the Bluehost sign up page. Okay, and as you can see, you get a really good deal with Bluehost. It's um, you get unlimited domain hosting, unlimited hosting space, unlimited file transfers, unlimited email accounts, free domain, and all these other goodies. Uh, so it's as low as uh, six ninety five a month. So what you want to do is you want to click sign up now. And I apologize, my internet connection is a little slow this morning. Okay, so. Now what you're going to see is the place where you choose a domain name. If you already have a domain name for your guitar teaching business, uh, you know, like yourcityguitarlessons.com or whatever, you could type it in here and it'll give you information on how to transfer that. But I'm assuming that you're going to do a brand new domain here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, um, for example, omahaguitarlessons.com. For anyone in Omaha, Nebraska, this domain name is available. I would suggest that you snap it up. Omaha Guitar Lessons and again you want to use .com there's some other uh, domain extensions that may be available but .com is the most professional and the one that people expect to use to type your site name in so I recommend you go with that so we have OmahaGuitarLessons.com in here so I'm going to click next and it'll tell me if that domain name is available or not so that's coming up here in a second and congratulations the domain you have requested omahaguitarlessons.com is available this will be used as the primary domain for your hosting account okay so now that you got to that point what you need to do is scroll down a little and enter your contact information here because what you're doing is you're setting up your billing account okay and then you scroll down a little further and you pick a package so you'll notice here if you go with a two-year package it breaks it's a hundred and sixty six dollars but it breaks down to six ninety five a month which is really cheap you could also do a twelve month commitment for ninety five dollars and forty cents and that breaks down to seven ninety five a month still dirt cheap so uh... i would totally recommend you doing that um, another cool thing about doing a, a longer package you do have to pay up front, but um, like I said, you do have a money-back guarantee, and it's better to do it that way than risk having your website shut down because you forget to make a payment one month or something like that. 
So uh, it's definitely a good investment here. There's a few extra services like Site Lock Domain Security, Site Backup Pro, Domain Privacy. You know, those are totally optional. You don't have to do those if you don't want to. So uh, once you get to that point, you just enter your payment information here and then you click Next. And uh, I'm going to skip a bit because this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to actually uh, open this account or register this particular domain. So um, once you enter this payment information and you click Next and your payment is confirmed, then they'll send you an email that will confirm you know, that your account has been opened and that things are going to be set up. And they'll have information in there about how to access the control panel, which is what I'm going to get to in the next part of the video. Okay, so here we are at the control panel for the new Bluehost account that we just set up. And what you want to do next is log in with your domain name that you just registered and the password. So let me type that in. And click log in. And it'll take just a second to get to that login control panel page. So here we go. So this is the Bluehost control panel. And you can just ignore this uh, little message at the top that has to do with something else that I've been working on. So if you scroll down a little bit until you get to the area that's called Simple Scripts. Down here under Software and Services, you want to click Simple Scripts. And that'll bring in this next page, click this Simple Scripts link here and it'll bring you to a page where you can choose the software that you want to have automatically installed in your web hosting account. Now this uh, this will save you a lot of time right here. Um, I'm, I mean it, I've done a bunch of websites and a bunch of work like this in the past for different businesses I've had and usually you have to upload the files through FTP, you have to create a database, you have to connect everything, there's a bunch of technical aspects to it but if you use this simple scripts interface then you can get things set up really really fast and you don't have to do any of that stuff you don't really need any technical expertise at all other than what I'm gonna show you right here today so if you notice here under simple scripts um, there's a list of software packages you can install on your website so there's like you know CRM content management guest books forums all kinds of things like that so if you want to, you know, get really crazy with your website and put all these things on here, you can do it. But all we're going to do today is a simple website using um, a platform called WordPress, which is located right here. So what you want to do is click on the install WordPress link and it brings up a page here that kind of describes a little bit about it, gives you some links for WordPress. But all you really need to do is click on install a brand new version. So we're going to do that. And when that comes up... Like I said, my connection is just a little slow today. I apologize. Okay, so we basically we have a three-step process here to get it installed. So you can just go ahead and leave the defaults there for the version. Um, you can choose where you would like to have it installed. Normally, you just want to leave that um, as it is, but because this is uh, just something that we're doing for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put this temp folder name here at the end so that it doesn't mix the site that I'm installing now with... Um, the things I already have out there on the internet and then you want to click here to display advanced options and type in the name for your blog since the name we talked about was Omaha Guitar Lessons I'm gonna put that in right now and then you want to change this username from admin to something else for security purposes so I'm gonna put in my first name and then you want to type in a password. I'm just going to use the word password for right now. Notice it'll automatically create a new database, which is cool. It's going to save you a lot of trouble. And then you just accept the terms and conditions and click complete. And before you know it, you're going to have your very own WordPress installation. So um, as you'll notice here, you get a status report. It's 1% complete. And there it goes, 25% complete. There you go, 92%. See how fast this is? You, you could never do this manually as quickly as it's doing it for you right now. And it's all done. It's all done. And you'll notice here, site URL, 
learnguitarforfree.org forward slash temp. That's where my particular demonstration WordPress site is. Um, if you don't choose that temp folder, then it would just be learnguitarforfree.org or your domain name. So and there's two links here, right? That's the link to your main site, and the one under it is where you log in with the username and password you just created, which it lists for you here, Donnie and password. And that takes you to the admin control panel for your site. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, click this link here so you can get an idea for what the basic website looks like. 